Coverage on the early warning weather alert continues right now. The remnants of Nicole already here bringing gusty wind and heavy rain. Channel 3's Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live right now in Hartford with more on how crews in the capital city are responding. Aya. Hey, Mark, and that preparation is key. The rain has definitely picked up here in Hartford, and a team of tree trimmers will be ready to respond to any downed trees that could become a hazard. Also, extra contractors are on standby for tonight. It was a busy day for Zoilo Guzman. Oh, Larry, look at that, that for the house. He spent about five hours clearing leaves from his yard. And you want to get everything done before the rain? Before the rain, yeah. Throughout the day, crews have been hard at work. Removing leaves before conditions worsen. And with strong winds and heavy rain expected tonight, there's a concern about tree limbs and debris falling, making roads potentially dangerous for drivers. If it's really gusty, uh, the concern of stuff just falling out of the sky is very real. Heather Dione is the Hartford City Forester. It's kind of controlled chaos when it really yeah. goes goes crazy. Her team of tree trimmers is on standby tonight, ready to respond to calls they're dispatched to. We, you know, determine whether or not we have live wires involved, so we contact Eversource if need be. And Heather notes the droughts have impacted tree health. There's been several uh, seasons of drought and um, our trees are a little bit weakened. Our, our mature trees are weakened. And a lot of challenges come with being able to do the job safely. It's a very physically and mentally demanding job. You have to be on point all the time because your life is at risk and other slaves are at risk. Um, it's uh, the our industry is one of the most dangerous and deadliest industries. And a reminder, if you do see crews out tonight, make sure you give them plenty of room so that they could safely do their jobs. And if you do see any down power lines, do not approach them as they could be live. Reporting live tonight in Hartford, I can add Channel 3 Eyewitness News.